Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone has recently heard about the surface reports regarding the allegations of the supposed child pornography. I believe uh, being recovered, it was initially started by Radar Online, and it was yeah, uh, it's, 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 utterly, it was, it's utterly ridiculous. This information, to the extent it even exists, was litigated thoroughly back in 2004 and 2005. You know, this information is dated. It's irrelevant. They exaggerated what was what was found. And, you know, you saw what the jury thought of it in the verdict. Fourteen not guilties, ten felonies, four misdemeanors, not guilty across the board. So mm-hmm. why anybody would have revealed that stuff and spun it the way they did, I don't know. But it's old news. It's exaggerated news. It's irrelevant news. It means nothing. Yeah, yeah, with all the uh, with all the uh, developments and stories, stuff like that, it was it was a travesty how they reported it. It was it was really especially uh, depressing to see like mainstream media and stuff like that uh, take the story verbatim and just report it straight up without ever questioning the source, you know. And the uh, and the doctor them just threw out the report that Radar Online supposedly had. But uh, I mean. In spite of all that, I've seen people who've been looking for confirmation bias. A lot of anti-Michael people, you know, in, in light of the, uh, the the recent allegations come out and uh, propose a couple of things. They 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 were uh, they were saying, you know, even after we found out, you know, none of the stuff would leak. They, they people try to chalk it up to a technicality. They try to say they try to say that this stuff wasn't technically child pornography, or at the time. It wasn't child pornography, but pornography. But somehow, at the current moment in time, it would be classified as child pornography. Some guy tried to tell me uh, NAMBLA or some organization like that classic considers considers it child pornography. I don't know. Uh, they say they say uh, the defense had like you know e- even though we know that nothing's new, people try to say that uh, some of the evidence could have been per- possibly precluded, you know, deemed inadmissible, something of that sort. Or, Look, I'm telling you, the, these prosecutors were out to win. They were willing to do anything to win this case, no matter how outrageous. We battled with them from day one. And the stuff that was recovered at Neverland was presented to the jury. Uh, the jury rejected these allegations. They said the prosecution couldn't prove one single count beyond a reasonable doubt, even misdemeanors. I mean, it's ridiculous to even raise this stuff. I, I don't understand why it became a news story. And I'll tell you, this is what, this is what the media can do. Suppose uh-huh. you were an animal rights activist, okay? Maybe you are. I don't know. Suppose you're an animal mm-hmm. rights activist. And, in, in, and while being an animal rights activist, you collected pictures of animals being slaughtered to show the public that this is wrong, that this should not be done, that this kind of cruelty is not consistent with a civilized society. Suppose somebody raided your home and found those pictures and said you're into mm-hmm. animal cruelty. How would you feel? Yeah. yeah that you see what I'm point is? They took, yeah. they took anything they could, spun it every way they could to try and get a conviction. You know, they tried to intimidate my defense team, threatening to come after us for obstruction of justice, said we were being investigated while we were preparing the defense because they claimed that court orders were being violated and information was being given to the media. They were doing anything they could do to pull out a conviction. And they failed miserably because this stuff did not happen. So, you know, people keep trying Mm -hmm. to spin things their way. But you've got to be very careful with what you see in the media these days because, like I just said, an animal rights activist will will put pictures all over town about animals being slaughtered, animals being victimized, animals being tortured, you know, to try and prove their point. And it's like these guys going into that person's apartment, grabbing some photos and saying, he's into animal torture. Mm. Mm-hmm. 